Hello everyone, uh, this is uh, my uh, series on career guidance. Uh, I have uh, made a few videos on, uh, on career guidance through Vedic Astrology. So have your Vedic charts open so that we can uh, talk about uh, ascendance and what profession, uh, jobs or business uh, is most suitable and uh, success uh, is seen for ascendance. So this is going to be an ascended specific video. I'm going to have timestamps updated in the description of this video. So uh, feel free to go ahead and uh, click on what your ascendant is because you would know your ascendant once you have your charts pulled up. So you can get any app. Uh, there are lots of them available online or uh, just go online. You need your time of birth, date of birth and place of birth and pull up your ascendant and then figure out which ascendant you are and then uh, uh, click to that part of the video. But before you uh, go to your ascendant and find out which uh, profession suits you the best or where uh, success lies, I want to say a few things. So do look at my other videos because uh, this is a general analysis of your ascendant. Uh, it could all be different with planets sitting in your first house. It would have a, a significant change uh, in your uh, choice in the choices that you make of profession and success and also your 10th house I've also spoken about Saturn is very very important. Uh, I have made a video uh, where I've spoken about Saturn uh, and I've also spoken about which what suits a person most uh, whether it's a job uh, working which means working for someone or uh, doing your own business. So uh, look at the other videos uh, and ask me if you have any questions in the comment sections. I'll be happy to answer your questions. Uh, so let's uh, start this video. Uh, I'm going to start uh, with Aries. So if you're an Aries ascendant, which means if we have number one in the first house, you're an Aries ascendant. Now, what are the jobs or what are the professions or uh, career choices that Aries uh, will prosper uh, most in. So Aries is more about the self. So uh, I have seen a lot of uh, uh, business people uh, with Aries. Aries like to own their own businesses. Uh, they don't go very well uh, working for other people because of the fiery energy of Aries is governed by Mars, especially if Mars is very well placed. If Mars is in the 10th house in Capricorn. All right, gives them uh, extreme discipline and structure. Uh, fantastic um, uh, health coaches, all right, gym instructors, fitness instructors. You know, you see Instagram nowadays, and you know, social media. You see lots of people posting their fitness videos and stuff. So these are these could these could be people with a lot of Aries energy in their charts, or they could be Aries ascendants themselves, uh, because it's about the body and the self, Aries. Right. And since Capricorn sits in uh, their 10th house, uh, you know, they are usually very structured and disciplined uh, when it comes to their body and lifestyle. If Saturn is well placed. Right. So there is an if factor. But in most cases, Aries ascendants uh, should be doing their own um, own business and, you know, working on their self. It's all about the self. So anything to do with developing the human body exercise. Martial artists, fantastic martial artists are seen uh, from uh, the Aries Ascendant. Also good business people, especially if Saturn is exalted in the 7th house. Uh, if Saturn is uh, in Aquarius or Saturn is in uh, uh, the 10th house, it's a very, very good position for the Aries Ascendant to get into their business. If they, have, if they, uh, if they are employees, they should uh, again uh, stick to being very structured and disciplined because Saturn uh, rules their 10th house of career. Um, if they want to get into jobs um, or work, uh, you know, they could be into analytics, you know, because Virgo is controlling the uh, sixth house. So they could be into professions where a lot of uh, analytic data analysis and analytic work could be involved. All right. Um, all right. Let's talk about the Taurus ascendants. Taurus ascendants uh, are ruled by Venus. All right. And if, uh, mostly Venus is placed well. Uh, Taurus ascendants uh, should look at a career in finance, banking, all right, uh, investment bankers, Taurus, usually very dependable people if Venus is stable and Venus is uh, very well placed in a Kendra or a Trikon house or even in the ascendant. Uh, they could also look at uh, um, food and beverages, 
right? Uh, sweets, uh, especially pastry chefs, I've seen uh, with uh, Taurus ascendants. Usually, uh, they're artistic people as well. Okay, they could be doing some creative stuff. All right, they could be fantastic artists. They could uh, uh, own uh, own uh, something uh, where they're selling artwork. All right, stuff made with their hands. You know. Uh, so uh, these are professions even uh, they could have uh, uh, professions where women are the end users so uh, that's one thing that Aries uh, the uh, Taurus ascendants can uh, look at uh, if the Lagna is too strong which means if there if uh, Venus is getting a lot of good aspect from Saturn and other planets like Jupiter Mercury uh, and making Venus very strong and well placed Taurus ascendants should look at uh, owning their own business instead of working for other people. If Saturn is not very well placed and Venus is not in a very good house and uh, getting aspects from malefics, uh, they should look at uh, long-term employment instead of owning their own business. Right. Let's look at Gemini ascendants. Gemini ascendants are ruled with Mercury. They are usually seen in the field of communication. All right. Communication is very key, important for them. They could be in a job where they also have to analyze uh, a lot of things. All right. They could be very good with numbers because Mercury is the sign. Buddh, Buddh is Mercury. Buddh is the sign of intelligent. Usually very intelligent. I've, I've also read charts of some stand-up comedians who, have, who are uh, Gemini ascendants. So uh, you can, uh, if you want to pursue a career and if your Mercury is in the first house, if your Mercury is exalted in the 10th house, you could look at uh, uh, having your own uh, business where communication is the key. You could be, a, you could be I know someone who's uh, uh, virtually training uh, lots of students on presentation skills, uh, especially after COVID and uh, they have made a lot of uh, success, uh, uh, online education, uh, teaching. Uh, usually very good with numbers as well. So any data, anything to do with numbers, analysis, communication, writing stuff, all right? Speaking to people, uh, being a, a middleman in introducing to people is also seen through Gemini because it involves communication, all right? If they're working somewhere, they could be uh, in the corporate communications industry. They could be trainers, facilitators, are all seen with the Gemini ascendant, okay? Uh, let's look at cancers. Cancer, uh, cancer uh, ascendants could uh, have a very strong uh, uh, background, family background. Uh, most of the cancer ascendants I've seen uh, usually have a very strong family background, if, uh, especially if sun is well placed. Um, they could, uh, they they usually prosper in the care industry. You know, looking after people. There are politicians. Lots of politicians uh, are seen with the cancer ascendants. Cancer ascendants could be born in a very uh, strong, influential family and they could take over the family business as well. Uh, th uh, they could have food and beverages uh, industry from the family and they could be into the food and beverages, health care, anywhere, any industry which is uh, the service industry. All right. They could be also gym owners, which is again looking after people. That own. They might not be very, very fit uh, if, if Mars is well placed or if. A uh, moon is very well placed. They could be extremely fit. If moon is exalted in the 11th house, uh, they could have uh, lots of gains in uh, business, especially with networking with other people. You know, they could have a huge network of people, usually cancer ascendants. They like to be very social people, uh, especially if the uh, moon and Venus are well placed. Uh, they are so they are seen to be very social people. So they could earn money with a network of circles and network of uh, of friends because moon exalts in their 11th house of their network circle they could have gains from their older sibling family like i said their family is very important they could uh, own businesses uh, which is to in the care service industry fnb industry uh, family run businesses uh, through their older siblings and their family all right uh, but ideally cancer ascendants are seen in the healthcare uh, anywhere which is looking after the people Right, feeding people, right? The cancer energy. All right. I'm moving forward. Leo ascendants. Leo ascendants are seen uh, to do a lot of different things. Leo ascendants also could be from a very strong family background. Uh, they uh, are uh, naturally very creative people. So Leo ascendants should uh, look at fields which are creative. 
uh, they could be business owners uh, they could be uh, good good with finances uh, especially venus is very well placed uh, taurus sits there they could be into finance banking sector they could be creators they could be uh, youtube uh, video creators they could be uh, uh, into any artistic uh, field as well they could also be in government related uh, employment because leo is the royal sign and signifies the government uh, especially if sun is in leo or sun is really well placed uh, uh, in aries they could look at uh, uh, to do with any industry which is to do with creativity and they will find a lot of uh, uh, success in that field they could be also into traveling uh, traveling uh, uh, and making money through travels as well all right uh, but ideally i have seen leo uh, leo ascendants to be very creative uh, something that i would want to say about the leo ascendants is uh, if saturn is not very well placed they should not look at uh, business if saturn is very well placed especially in their 7th uh, house or their 3rd house uh, they should look at owning their own business if leo ascendants are employed very very strongly suggest not to frequently change their jobs because leo ascendants have the leo fiery energy of the sun and uh, frequent job changes don't really work for them because they take time to adjust with people um, and once they are in their comfort zone and are in a habitat of a certain uh, uh, set of people they uh, they take time to adjust and move on to a different company so it may back if you are if you are leo ascendant and if you're working for 10 years and you're not happy about something uh, don't quickly change your jobs it may not work out for you all right well, that's the leo ascendant uh, let's talk about the virgo ascendants the virgo ascendants are usually extremely analytic all right they're extremely naturally analytic people they're very very intelligent people mercury is uh, or uh, ruled by mercury especially mercury in, is in their first house uh, they should look at uh, 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 anything to do with data analysis in today's world all right they are very good at finding they could be consultants all right they could be consultants that look at a business and they are able to find out hey this is what you can do um so advising businesses all right uh, they could be advising business. how how can you improve a cert- your business how can you make more money uh in a certain business so they could have great analysis analysis analytic skills skills so if if you're a virgo ascendant and uh, if ascendant and if you're working for someone you will see that you are able to analyze things much uh, easily compared to other people and you're able to tell people hey this is what is not going to work out this is going to work out because i have the data i have the numbers they're able to draw things out with data and numbers okay so very intelligent sign if mercury is very well placed uh, they could also be in communication because your their uh, 10th house is uh, ruled by again mercury gemini all right so they could be fantastic communicators all right virgo ascendants if virgo ascendants are talking to you about cert- uh, c- certain things they know exactly what to say they have thought this through all right so uh, in hindi they say naap tol ke baat karte hain all right so they uh, uh, that's again if mercury is well placed okay if mercury is debilitated they could be all over the place and they uh, may be uh, talking too much or not talking at all right but usually virgo ascendants are uh, seen to be very intelligent people very analytic people and uh, very articulate when they say something they are very very articulate about it all right so that's your uh, virgo ascendants let's talk about libra ascendants so libra ascendants are ruled by venus usually naturally again very creative people right because they have the traits of uh, venus um and libra ascendants if venus is well placed they are very very good business people all right natural flair for business so if you have uh, venus really well placed if venus is in your first house uh, and saturn is well placed and if saturn and venus are together in your first house then you should make sure that you some day in your life own your own business if you're not in your business right now right it's a very good placement uh, for um, uh, for uh, uh, the uh, libra ascendants uh, they are also uh, they also have a huge network circle uh, because of the air aspect of the uh, libra ascendant uh, they usually like to socialize their network circle could be very strong influential people uh, because leo sits in their 11th house of network circle all right they do fantastic in the food and beverages industry as well because cancer sits in their 10th house so they could be working in big restaurants they could be chefs as well 
uh, they could be owning restaurants and f food and beverages industries, healthcare. So all this comes very easily to the Libra ascendants. Uh, they could own uh, own businesses where they're catering and just helping people out. All right, because that Cancer energy kicks in every now and again, especially if Moon is very well placed. If Moon is also sitting in the tenth house, uh, definitely these people would. Uh, get into something to do where they are uh, into the caregiving industry all right all right moving forward let's go look at scorpios let's look at scorpio ascendance so scorpio ascendance uh would be uh into industries or uh jobs or any kind of services which are pretty much um secretive all right so they could be into uh things uh, they i've seen scorpio ascendance um, a couple of them are into archaeology, right? Like they are into finding out artifacts, right? Like what's hidden, you know, they're into occult. They have this interest of finding out the answers. Okay, I want to go into the unknown waters. All right. Scuba divers can be seen from the Scorpio Ascendant. They're always trying to dig in the treasure. They want to find out discovery, like discovery channel, you know, <coughs> uh, People who want to discover new things, they want to find out what is more. The, the, uh, they want to look into the darkness and find out what. So detectives are seen. People who want to, um, researchers, fantastic people who are into research work. Good astrologers are seen from uh, Scorpio Ascendance. All right? Tarot card readers. All right? It's all the study of the occult, the study of the unknown are seen with the Scorpio energy. If Mars is very well placed, I've also seen extremely fit people into sports. All right. If Mars is exalted in the third house, lots of sports people are seen. Lots of people who like to really look after their body. Fitness coaches, martial artists are seen with the, because the Mars energy is still there, is, is there in the, in the Scorpios. All right. Because Leo sits in the 10th house, uh, uh, they might be working for the government. So you might have... Uh, People who are uh, working for the government and they are uh, detectives or people from the police, army background, all right, secret services, FBI, all that is Scorpio energy, you know, working for the government, but hush, hush, no one knows about them, all right. So that's the Scorpio energy. They, uh, you know, it's very interesting. All these different things uh, Scorpios uh, are doing. They are usually into finding out from the darkness, you know, the Scorpio's uh, energy. Right? They want to get the answer. They want to investigate and find out. So that's a natural trait for the Scorpio energies. Let's look at Sagittarius. Sagittarians are born travelers. No matter what industry they are in, they like to travel. So you will see Sagittarius, uh, no matter what they are doing, uh, there will be a lot of travel involved. Or if there's not travel involved, they would want to travel themselves. So Sagittarians could be into the travel, tour and travels industry. And because of the Jupiter energy, they are uh, gurus as well. So definitely at one point of time in their life they will be imparting knowledge or teaching people so educators lecturers professors you know are seen from the sagittarius ascendant sagittarius ascendants could be extremely highly qualified you might meet a sagittarius ascendant and you have you might have no idea how many certifications of different different things that they have done from completely different different fields all right so these are people who have, uh, if Jupiter is well placed again, right? Because we are talking about Sagittarius. So Jupiter has to be, if Jupiter is debilitated, they might not have interest in all these things. But if Jupiter is well placed and Saturn is well placed, because Saturn is the Karaka for your profession. I'm talking about profession. So Saturn is the most important planet, right? So uh, they m might want to learn, learn and learn uh, throughout their life. So... If you meet a Sagittarius Ascendant uh, that is about 55, 60 years old, you may, uh, you may be surprised that they have done so many different things. They, they have done their masters in three different fields and they're still studying. They have so many. You go to their houses and you'll see a Buddha statue and then you will see so many things, certifications, and they know about so many things. They might have students from all over the world, all right, because the Sagittarius energy is about that, imparting knowledge. And traveling so these two things go hand in hand all right um, so that's about the Sagittarius uh, ascendant let's look at the Capricorn ascendant so Capricorn ascendants could be great business people right because usually they're very structured disciplined people and they have Saturn and if Saturn is very well placed they could be business owners 
if they are employed they make fantastic employees usually capricorn ascendants are fantastic employees uh, and they like long term employment so you will uh, you will rarely see a capricorn ascendant that switches jobs every a uh, few years or something you will see capricorns wanting to hold their jobs even if they uh, have get better offers but they will, would want to continue uh, the cycle of saturn right they want to keep those jobs uh, for a long long time right since uh, cancer um, uh, uh, they're uh, in their uh, in their 10 cancer is in their 7th house they could be interested in uh, uh, business in the care in the in the in the service industry because your know, cancer is looking you know is the caregiving industry so they may have interest uh into maybe uh, opening a restaurant one day or opening uh, a place to stay you know like a hotel a little uh, resort all right so there's something that uh, they may like to um they may like to accomplish one day in their lives they could make really good business people if venus is very well placed and saturn and venus are uh, well placed but usually i have seen capricorn ascendants struggle in the first 20 uh, first 20 to 30 years of their lives and then after 35 40 i see uh them seeing a lot of success right because saturn sometimes can slow their incoming wealth and success because it has a great impact on the ascendant all right now look at Let's look at the Aquarius ascendant. It's one of the most mysterious ascendants. Aquarius ascendants. I think a lot of astrologers have spoken about it, and a very few astrologers have knowledge about the Aquarius ascendants. They are known to be very, very intelligent uh, people. I have uh, seen a lot of Aquarius ascendants uh, that are into research work. Okay, they have a very strong uh, Scorpio uh, energy in their tenth house. So if Mars is Mars and Saturn are well placed, Aquarius people uh, could be doing multiple things at the same time. all right very rarely will we see aquarius uh, people are doing only one thing in their life so aquarius people could be doing multiple multiple things uh, uh they are into research so they like to know about a lot of people they are all people observers okay so they could make fantastic business people where because they have, they have knowledge and they like to observe people all right so these their mind is always working all right so aquarius people could also be into research uh, research work they could be scientists scientists are seen from the aquarius energy the aquarius ascendants all right surgeons can be seen from uh, the aquarius energy as well right doctors and surgeons can be seen from aquarius energy people who are uh, into archaeology research work uh, you we could also see uh, business people business where uh, they are working they could be working for multinational companies in a very high position right again they are known to keep jobs for a very long time they could be into social media and networking aquarius people could be into networking they could be masters in social media right so that's about the aquarius ascendant and let's look at the pisces pisces ascendants have the energy of jupiter so pisces ascendants uh, could be educators because uh, uh, sagittarius rules the 10th house and that's again jupiter energy so there's very strong jupiter energy in their lagna which is the ascendant and personality and their profession so if uh, jupiter is well placed especially if jupiter is in scorpio or jupiter is in the uh, in the 10th house or jupiter is in the lagna and saturn is very well placed especially if uh, saturn is in the 11th house uh, they could uh, their source of income could be um imparting knowledge they could be educators of sort they could also be priests they could be astrologers because again the pisces energy comes uh, into play there they could be into healthcare they could be into occult they could be tarot card readers they could be uh, about the ev- everything about the pisces uh, realm and sagittarius realm they could be uh, into meditation they could be they uh, they may, uh, they may not want to work at all and just want to be a hermit or a saint right so if you are a pisces ascendant and you have no interest in uh, the material world that's probably because of uh, uh, the jupiter's energy of uh, of the pisces realm right they could be uh, teachers of the ancient texts and the vedas right 
so that's all about uh, the different ascendants uh, make sure you look at my other videos because uh, to uh, to look at someone's profession we need to analyze the charts properly uh, we need to look at the position of planets we need to look at the position of the lord of the 10th house and the 6th house whether it's business so i've made a couple of videos uh, take a look at it whether a job suits you more or a or a business suits you more and i hope you find uh, this video useful uh, thank you for your time and stay tuned. Bye-bye.